Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of B to Z. I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, how I control my small high beetles. So I simply use a Swifter pad. And this is what the Swifter pad is, it's like a cloth. And I put them on top of the uh, brood boxes, right on top of the frames. So you got brood box, frames, Swifter pad on top of the frames, and then queen excluder, and then your supers. So I also put them on top of the honey supers, just in case. Um, the ones up on the honey supers normally don't have any um, beetles, but I put them there anyways. Um, so you can see one right there. And he's still alive. I kept them alive so you guys can see them. What happens is, is that the bees will run them up into the swifters. And then their little legs they get tangled up in the little fibers of the uh, Swifter pad. Um, and then, so when I'm opening up my hives, I'll see them on there. And I'll usually just pull the Swifter pad off, put it on, on a hard surface, and then I'll just, I'll smush them. So depending on how many there are, I'll go ahead and replace the uh, Swifter pad or just reuse it. So you can see this one, there's lots of them. So this is the most I've seen in quite some time. I'm doing a lot of splits and the ones that have a lot of small hive beetles are coming from hives that are split and still weak. There's another guy that's alive still. And he's just stuck, they can't move. So you just go back and you smash them. So, but when there's this many, I usually just crumble it up into a big ball and then just put a new one on there. And as you can see, there aren't that many bees on it. You may get one or two bees on it two guys that are there are most likely because I just rolled them up right in it. So when you're inspecting a ton of hives, you know, you can't get every single bee off. So there's another guy that's alive. So let's go ahead and smoosh that guy. And he's gone. That's it. So, yeah, let's get another one, see what they look like. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so bear with me here. So here's the one from another hive, and nothing on this side. And those aren't beetles, those are just dead bees. So, and then the brown stuff that you see is just propolis. So the bees would like to propolize this onto the frames. Let's go ahead and grab another one. And let's see what we got. I'm trying to do this one handed, so bear with me. Alright, so nothing on this one. See a couple of bees there. Here's some on this guy. Some there, and this one has a lot, also. The next, there you go. So it works. There's some more here. 
and smash away. Smash away. There's another one that's still alive. Smash away. And that's it, guys. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot of money to control your small high heels. Go to the dollar store, get yourself a box of these guys. This one comes with 32 of them. That's a dollar. It'll last you forever. If you got one or two hives, that'll last you forever. I don't change them every time I go into the hives. If there's only one beetle, I'll smash it, kill it, and keep let and reuse the the, the swifter pad. Um, after a while, they they start to shrink up um, because of the, all the propolis, and it's just been there for a, like a month, two months, and then I'll just go ahead and just put a new one so it covers a bigger area. I use one swifter pad per 10 frame box. Um, and then for the three frames and five frame boxes that I use, um, they come folded up like this. And this is the perfect size for three frames. I don't open it up. And then five frames, if you open it up completely, it's perfect for five frames. And then 10 frames, I use the same one. It doesn't cover the whole thing, it doesn't need to. It just needs to be big enough for, you just need to put it on there so that the, the bees have a place to run the, uh, the beetles to and then once they get stuck to it they get stuck to it so um, and then the other thing you got to do also is keep your keep a high density in your bees don't give them too much space before they need it so for instance on these couple small swifters that you saw that had lots of them it was a failed split that had laying workers on them and it's been raining for a couple of weeks and I was not able to get to those two hot those hives any of my hives actually in a couple of weeks and uh, there was a lot of beetles so but when you have a lot of beetle a lot of bees the bees take care of them they kill them they move them they drag them out they run them up onto these swifters and you'll rarely see a beetle on a strong hive all right. Okay, guys, go ahead and um, if you like my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please, 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 not only a thumbs up, but also subscribe. Um, every subscription helps. Um, share the videos um, on social media. Put them on your emails. Put them on your posts on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you guys use them. And um, again, don't forget to subscribe. Um, stay tuned for my next video. Until next time, thanks for watching another episode of B2Z.